I built Batman's house in Fortnite! Last week, I built the Batcave in Fortnite in honor of the really cool crossover Fortnite's doing with DC Comics in bringing Batman into the Fortnite world. It was really fun to build the Batcave, and I was just expecting to only build that, but I kept feeling like I needed to build Bruce Wayne's house, and so I decided to do it on a stream, and, well, here it is, guys! I decided to build the house from Batman the Animated Series, which is my favorite rendition of Batman. So today, I'm gonna show you how I built the house. I even built Gotham City off in the distance and then I'm gonna take you on a tour of the map. The code for this is in the description below. Alright guys, let's go. Okay, the first thing I needed to do was build the elevator in the Batcave so that there was a way to get from the Batcave up to Wayne Manor. I just used the elevator prop. I threw in some concrete, some steel beams to make it look cool and I felt like that was good enough. Now I could actually move on to the main part of the house up above the cave. The key here is trying to find the right pieces to use. I felt like if I found the right pieces then the rest of the build would be very simple. My chat helped me figure out that the agency was going to be the best pieces for this. For me, it was these windows that really sealed the deal in choosing these pieces. I built the front side of this all on grid so it would all snap together really easily, which would make placing the roofs and any other pieces on this really simple because it was all lined up on grid. There is a turret in this building, but the default size of the round pieces was just too big. So I downsized it five clicks so that it could easily place together when you're building on the grid. If you're confused by what I just said, make sure you let me know in the comments. Next, I needed to put on some roof pieces, and I chose to use the roof pieces from the Princess Galleries. They're honestly just perfect for this build. And because I built the first wall on grid, it was really easy to line everything up so that it looked just right. Floor one was basically done at this point, and so I moved on to the next level up on the house. And this is really easy because I just used that same window and duplicated it across the top. For me on this part, I really wanted to get the roof right because it looks like bat ears on this house. If you look at the original photo, you can kind of see that bat shape. So I wanted to make sure I had that on this house. I was sprucing up my turret when all of a sudden the power went out of my house and crashed the stream. This is what you guys saw, but this is what was happening behind the scenes. No! Once I finally got booted back up and got the stream restarted and explained what happened, I finished the exterior walls by just duplicating the windows on each of the sides of the house. Finally installed the gateway to where his cars would park, and then it was time to focus on the interior. Now with the interior, I didn't want to build out the entire mansion, I just wanted to have the like main hallway with a place where you could have a secret entrance to an elevator that led to the Batcave. After toying with a few different options for the secret doorway, I decided to just have the piano out in the main hallway and then have the elevator be behind a wall that I could place a trick tile on so that when you played the piano keys, the trick tile would disappear, there would be an elevator, and then you could go down to the back cave. So once I finished my mechanic, then it was on to just decorating this interior part, putting in a lot of lights, a few doors and art pieces, and I felt like it turned out okay. I hadn't really planned on building out this entire map, I just wanted to build the house, but it just felt so wrong to leave it where it was, so I started building an exterior with a road that led up to the house. I built all of the terrain around that area, including a little bit of a yard for Bruce Wayne himself, and then I didn't really know what to do with this area. It felt incomplete, and my chat recommended we do a bunch of water surrounding the island, and that it would be cool to have Gotham City off in the distance. So I built a little mini Gotham way off in the distance. If you get up close to this, it's really scuffed, but from a distance, it looks like a really cool city, and I felt like it turned out super good. All right, guys, the build is finished. Well, mostly finished. There are definitely things on here where you can get stuck in. It's not a perfect map. It's just an artistic build, guys. Like, uh, for example, you can still drive outside of the Bat Cave right here, and then you get to see all of the water up above. Yeah, so that's a little bit scuffed in that sense. But one thing I did change in, which was a great suggestion from you guys, is I put the comic filter on it, and it looks so cool. It looks just like a comic book. So if you want to run around the back cave you can do that but I also show that off in another video but if you start up the game and you go into the elevator here and you can go up to the main house where the secret wall will, will disappear and then oh look it reappeared right there and if you want to go back down you can play the secret notes and the wall will disappear again and you can go down to the back cave but you can look around at the interior of Bruce Wayne's house here there's not really much else to it this is really it I didn't have time to build out everything but then you can come outside and you get a great view 
of Gotham out there rendering in the distance. There's the house. Oh, I hate that glitch. It's got the red glitch on it. It's the worst. No, why are you red? Well, hopefully it looks good in replay mode, guys. I think it turned out really nice. I think it looks really cool with the uh, moon in the water, but not in the sky. I don't know what's going on there. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe and have fun being Batman.